welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my update for Project 10 Uses. I started doing this towards the end of last year and I'm really glad I did because I am using things that um, I just I haven't used in a while and um, really uh, remembering why I like some of these products. And it gives me a way just to rotate through things because I generally focus hardcore on what I am panning to finish and um, then I, I neglect everything else. So I am I'm finding that happy medium of panning things and also rotating through things. So I love this project. I'm going to be doing it for a while and I'm very happy to say I do have two things that are rolling out this time. Both of them are makeup products and um, I'm going to miss one of them. I mean, I like both of them, don't get me wrong, but one of them I'm truly going to miss. But before that, I'm going to let you know the creator of this project is Phoebe HB. I'm going to have her listed down below along with her inspiration. And um, yeah, if you want to go check them out, the links are going to be right down there. All right, um, so the first one that I finally, finally hit my 10 uses on is Coastal Scents Midas Gold. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, there is a little bit of a dip in there. I really did enjoy this one a whole lot. I think I'm going to enjoy it a lot more when I pull it out again in the fall. At least I'm hoping I will pull it out again in the fall because um, it's just, it's a pretty color. And um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And the one that I'm going to miss so much is my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I absolutely love this for my inner corners. Um, it just, it works so well for me. And, um, if you're, the nice thing about this is if you're using an eyeshadow that doesn't always stick as well as you want to, cause some shimmers do, some don't, um, this will give it a, like a little traction, so to speak. And, um, it, it helps to stick a lot better and it brightens up my, um, inner corners a whole lot more. I'm really, really going to miss this. I, I need to find a way to incorporate this into a project or maybe I'll just throw it in my basket. I don't know. I, I am truly going to miss that one. All right. The rest of the products. Um, some of them I've used, some of them I haven't. It's been an odd month. Um, all right. So starting with Vine from Bare Minerals. This one has seven uses. Um, I did not use this at all in the past month because I had so many other greens that were in my 365 days of eyeshadows, so I, I neglected it. Um, same with this one. This is the Sage Blue Mica Powder from Coastal Scents. I was trying to work on other colors that were similar, so um, yeah, it just it got back burnered. And, um, I, I, I own the shadow, but I, I don't really gravitate towards it because it does lean towards blue. I know, I know. It's you know it's going to end up being Frank in some someday is going to be. Um, all right, Sunbeam. Um, I am oh sage blue. Forgot to say I'm at three uses on that one. It's it's been that way. Um, Sunbeam eyeshadow from Coastal Scents. I am up to seven uses on that one. Um, it looks like it's been used, but there's not really a true dip there, but I really like that one. Uh, yeah, this next one, I'm a total slacker, and I forget that it's in there. I just, I need to suck it up and just press it. This is Bare Minerals Present. It is such a pretty shade, and I would love to use it if I could remember that it's there. It's just, it gets tucked in my drawer, um, like I have a, a drawer over here, and it's got all my painting projects and when I pull out stuff from my makeup basket because it's so tiny and my dividers in there are black it just like I lose it and it's pretty I need to use it more um moving on to the jelly much the color pop jelly much in Mojave moves I like this one a whole lot I get a lot of compliments on this shade um I am up to six uses on this one I suspect this will probably roll out on the next update since I'm already at six. I, I would be shocked if it didn't. Um, one that I'm kind of slacking on is, this is the story of my life. This is the e.l.f. cream eyeliner in the color copper. I have used it twice and I think it's because I am trying to finish too many other eyeshadows. So um, I, I like it. It's very pretty. I just, I'm a slacker. It needs to go in a basket soon. Um, next one is the Lancome Tint Idol. Idol. 
I don't know how you say it. This is in bisque. It is a foundation stick. That's what she looks like. Um, I've got six uses on this and I love it. I love this foundation. It is the perfect shade for me. Um, and being an oily girl, I'm really funny about cream foundations. I find that I get less shine with this cream foundation than I do with my um, LA Girl foundation, which is crazy. This this is amazing. I really, really like that one a whole lot. Um, so six uses on that and Slacker Me. Um, I put this in here so I could take better care of my nails because they kept breaking off. Um, this is the Jessica Nails Nourish Therapeutic Cuticle Formula and um, I haven't used it once, which is crazy. It's, I mean, it's not brand new. It actually smells kind of good. Um, but yeah, I'm a slacker. What can I say? I need to really start using it more and more because now that I'm digging in my gardens and um, that wreaks havoc on like your, your cuticles and your nails and everything, I need to, I need to do better. So I am bringing in two new products because, um, you know, I got 10 uses, actually way more than 10 uses on um, the milk, the uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. Wow, words, Jessica. Um, so, <sighs> kind of sad. Um, I need to bring in two more products. I am finding that I am really overloaded with makeup products right now, so I'm bringing in two non-makeup products, and there are two things that are never been used so I feel comfortable bringing them in um, the first one is the Shea Moisture it's raw shea butter extra moisture detangler, detangler if I could speak with sea kelp and argan oil it looks like that see it's still got the stuff on from when it was shipped to me um, I have never tried this one I just finished up a detangler from not your mother's actually the combing cream but kind of works similar I'm hoping I like this one. I do like a lot of Shea Moisture products, so I'm really hoping that I like this one as well. So I figure in 10 uses, I will know if I like it or not for my hair. And I got a big one for you. Mm, this thing is heavy. This is Philosophy Mandarin Mimosa Shower Gel. Um, you can technically use it as a shampoo and a bubble bath. I can tell you unequivocally, this will not go in my hair. Um, it's going to be used as a shower gel or a bubble bath. And um, I, I don't think I've ever even smelled this one. It might still have the seal on it if they have seals. Yeah, she's still sealed. So um, 10 uses. And this is one of those that I never want to put in a project because it's huge. It is 64 ounces of shower gel, which is crazy. It is absolutely crazy. I have a pump here so that I can... Um, you know make a little easier on myself but yeah this is why you've never really seen this other than my inventory because it would have to go in a year-long project and um yeah just I just haven't haven't found that space for it yet so I figure 10 uses get a little bit uh, of usage on it without really doing a full commitment that's what I'm thinking anyway I'm gonna wrap this up because I'm feeling very low energy today just, you know, been out in the gardens in the heat and stuff again. So I think all my energy is used up. So I'm going to wrap this up. Let me know if you are doing 10 uses. This seems to be um, getting more and more popular by the day. And I love it. I absolutely love it. It means everyone's rotating through their stuff. All right. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.